Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going really good. Hey, uh, I heard something the other day, and I thought it was really cool. And a person said, you know what? If you don't understand Genesis, the first nine verses, if you do not understand Genesis, then you will never understand anything. You are absolutely lost. You will be what the Bible calls an educated fool. You may know everything there is to know, but if you don't understand Genesis, you don't understand anything. Psalms 14 and Psalms 53 both start out exactly the same. And you know, whenever God repeats something, it's a good thing to listen. Psalms 14, 1 says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. And Psalms 53 says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they. They have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. People, listen. Here's something that is pure science. Something cannot come from nothing. If you have a container like this, this water jug, and it is absolutely sterilized, there's absolutely nothing in it, not a single atom, not a single molecule, nothing. Not one single thing. You know, you can come back in a couple weeks and look at it, and there's still nothing, because there was nothing to start with. You come back in a hundred years and look at it, there's still nothing. You come back in a million years and look inside that empty container and it's still empty. Something did not just miraculously appear. And the reason is, is because something can't come from nothing. It's simple science. You know, Carl Sagan, who was a famous astronomer, uh, he was a professor at Cornell University, and he did a series a long time ago called Cosmos. And this thing was on like every week for like two or three months. It was really a good series, but it was totally about evolution. And when he got down to the last day, he said everything in the entire known universe was compacted into the size of a softball and then one day it just blew up and then we had everything that is. Many people asked Dr. Sagan, where'd the softball come from? And he couldn't answer it. He had no answer. He tried to explain everything, but he could not explain where the softball came from that exploded and made everything. Something cannot come from nothing. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It takes an all-powerful being, an all-powerful eternal being, to speak everything into existence. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You know, right now we're going through all this woke crap. We got all this woke crap. It's been going on for a couple years and they expect everybody to buy into it and they're trying to mandate, they're trying to legislate that you got to buy all this garbage. In Europe, you misgender somebody, you can go to jail. It is illegal to misgender someone in many countries in Europe. You got some trans, some trans dude working with you and you call him a dude instead of a woman that he wants to be, you can go to jail for that. Gender identity, got to use the correct pronouns. Well, let's look at some pure science. Genesis 1, 26 and 27. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air over the cattle over the earth 
and over every creepy thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female he created them. What? Male and female. God created them male and female. Well, now that's a problem for the old woke people. That, that's a definite problem. If God created them male and female, that means when you look at the science, well, men have XY chromosomes and women have XX chromosomes. That's their genetic makeup at the core of their being. People, that can't be changed. Oh, sure, a surgeon can cut something off. He can cut off pieces, parts, glue them onto the other person. <laughs> Still didn't make a man a woman or a woman a man. Doesn't happen that way. Pure science. Follow the science. You guys remember William Thomas? A.K.A. Leah Thomas, the swimmer. He was no good competing with men, so he decides, well, I'm going to be a woman and I'm going to compete with the women. Sorry, dude. You are no woman, William, and you're a sorry excuse for a man. That's not just my opinion. That's <laughs> simple science. Genesis 128 says, And God blessed them, Adam and Eve, the man and the woman that he had created. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it. All these woke globalists, they're trying to tell us, Oh, there's too many people. The earth is overcrowded. We're all going to die. We're making it too hot. We're all going to die. Back before somebody blew up the Georgia Guidestones, the very first commandment for the New World Order is maintain the population of the earth to 500,000. Well, that means that 8 billion... 45,311,447 of us have to go. We're overpopulated by that much. And they are trying to kill us, by the way. I mean, look at chemtrails, all the GMOs in your food. This right here, they are trying to kill us off. But listen, a lot of people don't know this. I heard this, and a mathematician verified it. People, this is the absolute truth. Listen to this. You guys ever heard of St. Petersburg, Florida? St. Petersburg, Florida is a big city. It has a lot of land. There's a lot of land around that city. People, listen. Every human being on the face of this earth, every single person alive today, will fit in the city limits of St. Petersburg, Florida. If you were to stand there shoulder to shoulder and just stand, every single person on the earth will fit into St. Petersburg, Florida. This earth isn't even close to being overpopulated. Have you ever taken a trip out west? You know, when I just took my trip through Nevada and into Utah, across northern Arizona, back into New Mexico, and then back across. People listen. There are places that you can go out there and you can drive for over 100 miles and never see a single building or a single person or a single nothing. There's, there's so much land. Go to Wyoming sometime. Go to Alaska. We're not even close to being overpopulated. Everyone on this earth can fit into St. Petersburg. People listen. Let me tell you something about this woke garbage. You go overseas. I've seen them, them uh, interviewing people in Africa. And they tried, they ask these people, can men become women and women become men? And these people crack up, they laugh. They say, 
are you people retarded? I've seen them go down to places like South America to Chile and they'll take a, a man and a woman aside and they'll say, listen, did you know that men can become women and women can become men? And they say, you're mentally retarded. That can never happen. Men and women are different. One can't become the other one. It seems like the only people that's not retarded are people in America and people in Europe trying to push this woke crap. People, they're going to look back at us. One of these days, the world is going to look back at America and Europe in the year 2023 with all this woke crap and they're just going to shake their head saying, those people were absolutely stupid. Stupid. But you know what? God said it two times. Psalms 1453. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. People, all you got to do is follow the science. Isn't that what they've been telling us for three years? Follow the science. God created everything. Something can't come from nothing. God created them male and female. Women, double X chromosome, men, XY chromosome, all the way down to their genetic makeup. Men cannot become women and women cannot become men. Folks, listen. If it becomes illegal for me to say that, well then you just prepare me a cell because I will never give in to your woke BS. Not going to happen. I'll stick with the Bible. I'll stick with the truth. Anyhow, listen, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.